Hello everyone, welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I am your teacher as always, Jessica Beck, and it is my pleasure to be your teacher. Today you are going to learn what these band scores mean in IELTS speaking. Next time I'll talk about writing, but today we're gonna go deeper and I'm gonna tell you what does it mean if you are a six, a seven, an eight, a nine? What do those mean as far as your ability to speak English on test day? First of all, congratulations. I get to say congratulations so often lately because our three key students are doing so well on their exam. So congratulations to Lorita. You worked so hard and you got an overall eight. Now I had classes with her. She came on the show. She's amazing. So. I'm so proud of you, Larita. Good job. Overall, eight. That's amazing. Guys, if you want to um, learn a bit more about how to prepare for IELTS, we have a web class, July 1st and 2nd. Sign up. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash busy. I have to remember so many links. Okay, so let's get to it. So in IELTS speaking, what is a six? Now let me tell you, six is the widest band score. I stole that from an examiner friend. He just said that recently and I loved it. It's true, guys. So many people get sixes, okay? More sixes than any other score. So IELTS defines it as a competent user. What does that mean? It means that you can pretty much talk about anything. Right? Like anything that the examiner asks you, you can talk about, okay? You don't get stumped and like are just are unable to talk. However, you still have a few hesitations, us and ums. You're using simple linking words, okay? Probably not enough linking words, not a wide enough variety. Um, your vocab, maybe a couple interesting phrases, but that's it. Like you're able to communicate what you want to, but the vocab is not impressive. All right, so that's why, again, like slang and idioms in part one and part two, some fancy vocab in part three, that's what you need. Now, grammar, you're still making a lot of mistakes, but it doesn't stop me from understanding you, okay? Um, so that's a six. Now, what's a seven? So a seven is a little closer to that natural English, all right? So IELTS describes it as a good user. It means you've started to go beyond the, just the student level. So fluency and coherence. You're able to talk about everything and you're able to offer some like interesting, uh, deeper ideas in part three. You're able to go into more detail in all of your answers. Um, you're using some impressive linking words. You have some noticeably interesting vocabulary, some impressive words and phrases, and you're still making mistakes in grammar, but you have some sentences that are perfect. Okay, like some compound complex sentences that are perfect. Okay, but you're still making enough mistakes. Okay, but you do have some perfect sentences. Now an eight, an eight is beyond that, of course. IELTS describes that as a very good user. <sighs> yeah, very good user. Um, using some impressive linking words, can talk about anything in um, an intelligent way. You have interesting ideas about whatever comes up. Um, impressive linking words all over the show, filling the two minutes with no problem, a lot of noticeably interesting vocab, variety of sentence structures. So why isn't this person a nine? Because they still have some mistakes. That's basically the difference between an eight and a nine, is that an eight still has some mistakes, whereas a nine is perfect. So IELTS defines nine as an expert user, and as I've said before, even native speakers don't get nines on the speaking test unless they've prepared or unless they have like a job where they talk a lot, right? Professionally, like me, for example. Um, so a nine is completely perfect in all respects. You can go into detail. You have impressive, complicated structures and vocab and just like perfect, perfect. So an eight is like that but it's not perfect, you have a few mistakes. So those are the basic differences, guys. Um, if you have more questions about IELTS speaking scores, remember I was an examiner for 14 years. Ask me in the comment section below and maybe I'll do a future video about it. To see deep advice from me on, about a real IELTS student, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash band, that's a B-A-N-D, detailed expert feedback from me on a real student's mock test. All right, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you next time. Bye.
Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app. Featuring exclusive bonus video lessons with Jessica, Lindsay, and Michelle. Get the app now at allearsenglish.com forward slash app.